Dude, how hard do you believe? In Santee? Yeah. Big time. Dude, that's, that's what I'm saying. Enough that, like, I'm ashamed of my ancestors who didn't believe. Oh, for sure, bro. My that's... entire, my family's stupid. My entire race is stupid. Santifa. That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm rising I up. I fight to, you know. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spoil. I might throw a can of worms into the family dinner talk. Slam the table and be like, you guys even fucking care what today's even about? Just go buy my little plate of milk and cookies and be like, <laughs> <laughs> you got to leave milk and cookies out? Am I? Yeah. Yeah. You better. I always do. Good. I still leave them out. Yeah, I'm going to leave them out. Wait, when was St. Nicholas Day? I didn't leave my fucking shoe out. Uh, you you forgot? I left the shoe Fuck. out. I got some sweet treats. What'd you get? Twix. Fruity Tootsie Roll? I got Twix. Did you really? Yeah. And then in the Fuck. spirit of St. Nicholas, I broke it. I, I shared it. I gave one to Christopher and one to Brian. I said, you know what? You guys have my Twix. And St. Nicholas smiled upon me. You think so? Definitely. Fuck, I'm pissed I missed Saint- Dude, I remember yeah. when I was younger missing St. Nicholas Day and be like, fuck. <laughs> I was making myself laugh thinking about uh, Santa's coal mine. What coal mine? You know, it gives out coal to everybody. True. You must have a, they, Everybody always shows the toy shop elves. Must be a pretty <laughs> rough other end of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking the other day about like just a kid getting coal. Like there had to have been kids out there. My dad got like, coal. Just just one lump he of coal. He told me there was several years where he got just a lump of coal. Oh, dude. Young what's Phil. That, what's tiny that, Phil. What's that do to a person? That just lets you know your parents are poor. True, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck? If you're a poor parent, you can just be like, listen, this is your fault. You're a piece of shit. Fuck. Santa doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> was he being bad? Yeah, Phil was a bad He's a bad boy. And he got a lump of coal. He got a lump of coal, <laughs> dude. He did. Be... I'm certain he got a lump of coal one year. I mean, imagine how hard you believed in Santa when you were little. Oh, and it comes out like, that, man, he, he thinks I suck. <laughs> like Christmas excitement. Like, I remember, like, waking up Christmas Eve and being like, I like I couldn't even fucking sleep the oh, night before. So fucking Finally fun, waking dude. up and Fuck. being like, yes, yes. And running downstairs and seeing a fucking lot. He must have fucking screamed. He must have fucking <laughs> no, cried. and screamed, dude. You get your ass pulled. I mean, dude, something inside of him died. For I sure. I mean, the third lump of coal is probably I mean, probably that's like- where you punch a dog in the head oh. when you're 50. That's <laughs> <laughs> where you punch Riggins on the top of his head. <laughs> I mean, dude, that's fucking horrible. Yeah. I'm surprised he hasn't like, vacuum sealed Riggins' head yet. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, God I mean- damn. Lump of coal for a kid is, de- but hey, again, it was like the you know it was like the early sixties. <laughs> like, I mean, he was living on a creek in Central PA. Yeah, nineteen sixties. Like it's not like he was like. I mean, and they didn't have like lump support groups back then for nah, kids. You got, got a lump of coal and you showed up to school and kids were like, "What'd you get?" And he's like, "Fucking coal." Fuck man. you, dude. Santa just told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had been with all the religious stuff tied to that. That had been pretty synonymous with like going to hell. Phil, my dad had a rough Santa Claus journey. <laughs> now that I think about it, because the other story that's like my favorite story, I think I've told it on here, was his dad died. My dad's dad died when he was young. Okay, and then that year for Christmas, his older brother, I think it was his old. No, his his older brother dressed up like Santa Claus mm-hmm. to like because Phil. And his younger brother and his sisters are young. Okay. And the brother's like seven or eight years older. So he was like going to surprise them and like pretend to be Santa Claus. You know, it was a rough time. What did he do when the, what did he do when the real Santa Claus showed up? True. True. <laughs> Straight up Santa Fa. But he got drunk oh, and God. fell off the roof. Fuck. So all the little kids were like excited for Santa. And then Santa just was just drunk and fell and they're like oh my god Santa <laughs> it just came out with him and he was all shit faced and then a year later that Santa gave him a lump of coal yeah man so it must have been like what the fuck yeah, is man, going Santa's on Santa's a dickhead dude well apparently that uh, I was that was also one of the lie. I remember lying and saying I saw Santa what yeah 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 that's not a lie bro I remember you just believed no 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 I remember saying I saw his sled <laughs> to who to like my aunt who knew I was lying. How old were you? I was young, obviously, okay. but I was. I still even then knew she knew I was lying. Fuck. Just the, just the way her path of questions. Oh, that's fucked like up. Like she was just fucking with me. Like, oh yeah, like shit like that. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I remember being like, yeah. What the fuck is your problem? I like. I vividly remember that lie. 
That's so oh. funny. And she was just like, really now? Yeah. Did you I claim remember, to hear I, bells? Dude, one time. <laughs> I got a great Christmas story. Now we're in the holiday spirit. <laughs> Hell yeah. The local news said there was too much fog and you had to ring a bell so Santa could find your house. <laughs> It <laughs> fucked me up, dude. I was spazzing. Were you ringing a bell? I broke a bell. <laughs> Did you really I broke the bell ringing it. <laughs> I was like, come on, come on, sit. <laughs> yeah, man. He found your house? He found my house. Oh, Santa was always good. He was good to me. Dude, I was like. Actually, he was okay. Fucking. What did he get you? I always got average. Yeah. And then my, you know, you'd see other kids with their fucking balling shit, crazy shit. I get nothing. I got a PlayStation Two once. That's a that's like eighth grade. That's that was Santa, sick. That's Santa coming through. That was and I st- yeah, that was big for Santa. I, I the best thing I ever got in Christmas was that remote, remote control car that could flip over and still drive. Fuck. Remember that thing? Yes, dude. I got that one year and it was just like fuck my. I was to the fucking yo. Mood. Did you guys have to go to church after you opened gifts? Yeah, fucking suck, Whoa, dude. how much does that suck? Fuck. You get all these sick toys, and then you immediately have to go to church for an yeah, hour. Yeah, dude. It fuck. And then the parking lot's and packed. Just, like, just let me go home and play with this fucking uh, toy. We used to, sometimes we go to Midnight Mass. That was fucking dank. You get, well, we, that was That's when we got, we got older. We go to Midnight yeah, Mass. Yeah, yeah. come home. Everyone gets to trade one present. We do like a family Pollyanna. Yeah. Midnight Mass. Come home around 1 o'clock. Eat some sweet treats. Some people drink a little coffee, and then it's like, here's all the presents for the, you know, the, the siblings. Then you wake up and Santa comes. And Santa has come. That's it. It's the best. Watching a little kid who genuinely thinks Santa. Like, I'm going to get to see. Still believes. I'm going to get to see the kids enjoy it this year. Dude, it's the best. Uh, it's the fucking. I'm going to cry, I think. Dude, I, I can't buy Hallmark <laughs> cards anymore without crying. And I, I was in Target getting a, a, a card for Brittany. And I was reading it. And I was just like. The last couple times I've got them, I'm like. I'm Yo, there's aisle. a fucking Apple commercial right now that makes me cry. What is it? This is Grandpa. It's I think Grams. they play the Up music. Oh man! And this, uh, the his granddaughter makes like a slideshow on the tablet that has Grandma like photoshopped into it. Is Grandma they, dead? Yeah. Jesus, dude. Yeah. That's kind of that's enough. That's too it's much bullshit. That's too much, dude. There was one I was watching. There's a commercial. There's a girl, a, t- a little girl in bed, a, in a hospital bed. mm Hmm. And the, a nurse walks in, and she's like, she sticks her arm out because she's clearly getting chemo. She's like, more treatment today? And the nurse is like, different kind of treatment today. And a dog comes in, and it's like a nice dog, mm-hmm. like a you know a treatment animal. Yeah. And then they're like, pedigree, dog food. Fuck, man. Like, why, why are you showing me a kid with cancer? That, I'm telling you, that's to buy the dog ring. food. That's the move. And then they show like a dead, a grandpa, an old man crying with his granddaughter on his lap. Yeah, he's like, that's her, isn't it? It's like oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Fuck. What are we doing? That'd be tight to bring like Shamalone and twist to those commercials, and the grandmom standing behind is like, shh, like dementia, <laughs> <laughs> aftercare, dementia, <laughs> sunrise, assisted living. <laughs> dude, that'd be tight. Yo, because yeah, I've commercials are like, well, dude, I saw a lady today in Whole Foods with a, a shopping like you know people bring their own shopping bags. Yeah, it's like this bag saved, this bag fed four rescue dogs. It's like what? What is this need to broadcast all of this weird good word? It's so bizarre, dude. I'm telling you, it reminds me of back in the day when people could buy their way into heaven through church. Yeah, and now you can do it, you know, in a certain sense through like buying sugar from Cameroon and being like, well, yeah, I helped thing. a warlord who uses <laughs> child generals, <laughs> child soldiers. <laughs> yeah, dude, anyway, dude, let's get back to the let's Christmas get, spirit. Exactly, exactly. I'm so hyped on dude, Christmas spirit. Right going now. to fucking you know, church. The lights in my house, like the Christmas lights at night oh, on the tree. Bro. Come on. You come downstairs in the come morning. Come on. Come downstairs. And it's like kind of so early. The light. It's like kind of dark out. Oh. And you see the lights and you're like, whoa, I didn't see that bicycle when I went to bed. Mm-hmm. Dude, it's unbelievable. It's It's ecstasy. It really is. Sheer ecstasy. It really is. You come down to the fucking, it's kind of still dark out. The, the lights are blinking. The elves are like, my mom has these weird ass fucking like wire form elves that you can kind of put in a different, we used to always, we had like a wire form elf, wire form Santa. And we used to bend Mr. Santa over and have the Santa. <laughs> fucking, like, I'm, I'm, who's messy with the elves again? <laughs> yeah, we used to do that with the reindeer. Yeah, you make the them People hump. put out front. Oh, dude, And uh, we sick. used to do it in my neighborhood. We would make the reindeer fuck. And then you know, on people's front yards, yeah, hilarious, so funny, so funny. But so funny. when I my ex girlfriend's grandparents lived in my neighborhood, and I didn't know, mm-hmm. 
And they were talking about how every year that would happen. And I was just like, whoa, that was me. Did you know anyone who ever? That was me. Did you know anyone who ever popped those things? No, I think that's fucked up. I have I have been a part of that, and I <laughs> wasn't. I really regret it, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just getting out. I remember being. I don't know who it was. When someone run up, they watch this, and be like, <laughs> <laughs> that's like a hundred bucks a piece. I know. Which also now that I'm an adult, I'm like, yeah, good. What pop them? Good. Fuck those dickheads that have those giant inflatable things and them getting popped. <laughs> it's, it's, it, you're just down a hundred bucks, and you don't have to store that thing three hundred sixty <laughs> days a year in your fucking garage. You think some of it might be like an inside job? Like you fucking oh. popped our floating Santa Claus, or like our little snow, our floating yeah. snow globe. That's dude to go. For, it's funny too to be like, Daddy, the snow globe's dead. <laughs> some dude just walked by, like, oh, stabbed it. <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm excited. I'm fucking stoked. I got Christmas spirit. Usually now. Christmas, I have a tradition where I get stoned and I drive around and look at all the Christmas. I go to like a nice neighborhood and look at all the Christmas lights. Oh, we do this thing in my neighborhood. Awesome. Uh, uh, luminaries, they call it. They just put bags of sand with a candle That's on the tight. curbs, on all the curbs. That's- yeah, dude. That was coming downstairs, man. Christmas day. Get down early. You ever get down early before everyone? For sure. I did that. Yeah. A little sneaky move. Tear open a fucking corner. Peek. Oh, run back dude, up. Dude, that's yeah. fucking. Oh, fuck. like, I know what everyone has. Yes. That's pretty tight. Yeah. I'm still geeking on. What, so what happens? But then the payoff is everybody comes back from Christmas and it's like. Gear. I mean, the gear. loaded. Yeah. And you come back and your gear is just right. for. That's like, all I had every year. That's <laughs> all my Christmas clothes gear. was Christmas clothes. <laughs> 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 my mom dictated my clothing for. Years. Yeah, dude, I remember I caught a pair of bullheads one year, dude. Wide, like Jinko leg length flare, dude, and just went into dress really? down day. I couldn't. Jinko jeans. I had bullheads. What are they? So they were like they were of the wider leg variety, but not as wide as Jinkos. You had wide jeans. I had, dude, I was a skater, bro. Fuck. I was a skater, surfer, snowboarder from San Diego, bro. Of course, I fucking true. That's how you got surfers. I those Jinkos you were wearing. Bullheads, bro. The bullheads got in your system. I got system. them from Pac Sun. They were khakis that had a white stripe, and they were so fucking wide, dude. They're almost as wide. My mom wouldn't let me let me get Jinkos because they were fifty bucks. Jinkos are wild. She was like, if you if you want, I'm not paying. I remember she I remember they had like the little cartoon character on the back pocket, dude. Anyone who had Jinkos at CN Skate Palace was a fucking man. Fuck. I just wanted to fucking thank listen. God I played sports then. I played sports a little bit. Skateboard. I played extreme sports, dude. Yeah. Fucking let me get up to the camera and stick my tongue out, dude. <laughs> dude, I fucking uh No, nah, no showboating. I remember no I, showboating on my end, bro. Mom all showboat. I'm all hot dog. <laughs> I said hot dogging in school the other day, and someone goes, What the fuck's hot dogging? And I explained hot to dog? him. He started cracking up. He's like, That's the funniest fucking thing I've ever Hey, you're hot dogging. Like, you ever heard of hot dogging, bro? He's like, No, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I explained <laughs> it to him. He's like, That's fucking hilarious. Um Yeah, Chris, bullhead. Christmas is hot dogging. Hanukkah is just good. True. Run the football, hand the ball to the ref. Christmas is big time hot dog. Yeah, that's like being down by 10, still dancing after you get a sack. <laughs> I don't understand. What the fuck are you celebrating? I mean, come on. Will. What's the best gift you got? <sighs> I don't know. I think mine's the play. I think I got a PlayStation 2 in eighth grade. I think that was my best gift. My best gift was my bicycle with a radio attached to it, Free Spirit. I wanted a green bike. That's awesome. I wanted a green bike. That's the first time Santa slipped. I asked for a green bike. My sister asked for a purple bike. I got a purple bike with a radio on it, but I was like, whatever. I yeah. can still bump. T- I can still bump fucking. How t- old were you? Fuck, man. I was probably like six. I was back when I still lived in Haverton. Wow. So that was Santa. That was Santa, bro. I remember coming down and being like, oh, Santa makes mistakes. I was like, well, you know, he's got a lot on his mind. <laughs> Santa makes mistakes. I remember thinking like, well, I didn't ask for I asked for a green's my favorite color, not purple. And I was just kind of like, well, whatever. I'm not like, going to say anything. I was, dude, I was still like, this is fucking sick. <laughs> That's I said, nice. I would bust that thing around, crank fucking under the bridge. I wanted a BB peppers. gun. I wanted a BB gun. Yeah. I Never know. got that. I asked for a BB gun. I think I got a uh, marksman slingshot. That was pretty. No, did I have one of those? I think my older brother had one. Excuse me. Uh, you're that, excused. That bike. You know, well, I don't want a slingshot. Lie. You're that, excused. That bike <laughs> was probably, I would say, the dankest thing ever. The bike and the flip over remote control car. Easily the two dankest Christmas presents I ever received. PlayStation 2. That's a biggie, dude. Yeah. That was nice. And the way Santee delivered it to me How? was he hid it behind the couch. You thought it was over. So they got to see me fucking half, half fucking like, God damn it, dude. The one thing I asked for, you motherfuckers couldn't get me. They wanted to see if I would be grateful or not. 
really a little brat that's that's cole mentality and i dude. did not i did not brat really you're like oh shucks brat. guys i did not brat in my head i bratted so hard you're like fuck so hard and then they're like why don't you check out behind the couch and i was like yes i knew it i knew it i knew you guys weren't pieces of shit <laughs> fucking big <laughs> Damn, only someone who's gotten coal would put you through the yep. test. That was a rite of passage, dude. That was a big test. Being a Christmas brat is where... I might go home and brat out for Christmas. Being a Christmas brat stinks. Dude, it's so fucking funny. Yeah, they, I didn't get what I wanted. That's it? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it? That's it? They, they're still opening gifts. I didn't, I'm didn't. i done with my gifts already. I actually do that every year to my mom. Do you really? I tell her that she likes Katie more than me. That's fucking And funny. every year Katie gets more. Well, because Katie always owns like a house... Or an apartment. So, so my mom gets, buys a ton of fucking yeah. that shit. I get like socks. My mom gives me socks. My mom calls me. She's like, we're not doing a big thing for Christmas this Every year. Every year. What do you, I can get you a gift. I'm like, dude, I, I don't want anything. Yeah, I know. I, anything. I know. And I even I tell her, I'm like, dude, I actually will take some socks. I'm at the point now where socks? I can definitely appreciate a new pack of socks. Socks and undies. Yeah. Uh, flashlight. That's all <laughs> I asked for. <laughs> a butthole flashlight. <laughs> Dude, next time, yeah, next time my mom asks me, I'm like, I'll have a butthole fleshlight, please. Please. Like, you asked. I'm telling. Hell yeah. Motherfucking butthole fleshlight. Write it down. Write a list. Write a letter to Santa and just leave it at your parents. 